What's going on, everybody? It's Ace Turning Ninja here today, my dudes, for a brand new episode of our uh, Detective Pikachu. I almost said Pokemon Pikachu. Hi, <laughs> uh, Detective Pikachu demo let's play it, it's kind of fun we've had a hell of a time if you guys missed the first episode go back and check that out or else you guys won't know what's going on in this episode you guys should definitely go and peep that uh, i'll drop a link in the description to the to the first episode and, and probably the playlist maybe if we have a playlist i don't really know but you yeah, guys in the last episode if you missed it or if you kind of forgot um we had we met our, our buddy pikachu we got some story development we got introduced to the characters and we have we're looking for a necklace for a little girl so we can bang your mom. That's what we're doing. So, <laughs> uh, that's the game plan. That's what we're going to be trying to do today. Uh, and I don't know how long we're going to take for this episode. Who knows, really? It's broken up. It's, it's apparently chapter one. If you guys missed chapter zero, you got to peep that. It was it was super fun. Super funny. Uh, this game is, is, is this game looks like it's, it's amazing. Uh, sadly, this is just a demo. But I, I really want to get my hands on the actual game. It would be, be quite fun. So, guys. Let's get... Let's get started with some dialogue. For us to pursue. For us to pursue. For us to pursue. For us to pursue. I can't get the voices right. For us to pursue it this persistently, only to find that the necklace is gone and the apalm is unconscious. It seems at times like this that we need to confront. Sort. We need to calmly sort out the situation. Why don't you open up your notes like you did earlier? Alright, let's open up the case notes then. Alright. Uh, this has all happened in a very short amount of time. Hmm. Unfortunately, there have been some traces left behind. Which means we'll need to investigate the scene. Alright. Let's do some investigations. I've watched plenty of NCIS. I can investigate this. Honestly, the music in this game is just too powerful. What should I do to investigate the scene? Look at look at the traces of the incident by investigating the scene where it happened. In other words, this place. Okay, uh, see what I can do. So let's investigate the apalm. Hmm. Uh, it's got a lot of fine scratches. Maybe it was knocked out. And I quarrel with quarrel with someone. <gasps> what? There's something on it, under its body. What is, is that? A feather? Great job, Tim. It seems like a clue to the culprit. A black feather. Hmm. We have a berry over here. It's a deep red from the ketchup and the berry. Hmm. And this is a spicy berry. It's a spicy berry. So it doesn't seem like it would have been holding the berry to eat it. Hmm. It's a spicy berry. It's a beat up copy of today's morning paper. Oh, details on the ice down highway incident. It's tough to read because it's ripped. <laughs> Got a newspaper. It's a soft drink can. Maybe the apron was drinking it. If anything, it seems like trash. It's empty. Perhaps it rolled here from the garbage can over there. Maybe the trash scattered when it fell over. Interesting. And some leaves up here. Leaves? Hmm. They're withered. But they, they seem like grass that grows around here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, seems like there's seems like we're pretty much done investigating here. Signs of a quarrel. The lost the lost necklace seems pretty certain that the apalm was attacked by someone. But who? Let's look into that first. You do remember how to investigate. Write down the details of the incident and things you've come to understand in your notebook. Got it. We'll start with the unconscious apom. All right. Hmm. First issue at hand is who or what could have attacked the apom. A Murkrow. Whoever did that probably has the necklace. You see, when you investigated the scene, the 
Did you happen to find any potential clues to the culprit? A feather. A black feather. So, what about the black feather? This is just a theory. Maybe Apom was climbing the tree and got attacked by the owner of the black feather. Does the feather a ghost. Call to mind a certain characteristic of the culprit? It's a murkrow. Yes, no doubt about it. This feather is from a Pokemon. Yes. Here's what we should do. Let's go around the park and we'll search for who this feather belongs to, right? That will be the first step in our investigation. And when you see Pokemon with feathers, <laughs> be sure to jot them down. Yes. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, let's get going. Yeah. Just make sure you keep up. God, will do, sir. Get my Detective Pikachu, sir. Who's the owner of the Black Feather? Hmm. Hey, Tim. Tim. What? <laughs> We've got together. We've got together information. And the only way to do that is by talking to everyone. Let's start by talking to the lady who's cl cleaning up over there at the crime scene. There's a lady cleaning up over there? It's empty. Hmm. Is there a lady cleaning up over there? Oh. Hello, sir. What? I'm kind of busy here. It seems that like Apom dropping frames. What the fuck? So I guess we're just gonna wrap up this episode with potentially questionable frames. So that's gonna be fun. No idea what the problem is in my recording software. It's just not wanting to run 60 frames for some reason. No clue. I really don't like it, but we'll have to rock out with it anyway. As long as we don't drop to like 40 or 30. 20 frames. It's ugh, 20 frames. Okay. <laughs> it's, it seems that Apom was in a quarrel at a tree near the fountain. Did you see anything? Mm. Haven't seen anything. We we done. We done? I'm busy. This guy. <laughs> What's he so busy with? Um. What about the feather? Do you recognize this black feather? Hmm. It seems pretty absent minded. What are your actions? What are you up to? I'm looking for something. I seem to have dropped my precious pen. Sorry. Thank you very much. Hmm. This guy's also looking for something. Missing pen. I will find thine missing pen and you will answer my damn questions. p doves p doves are black feathers. Oh, he's Scraggy. What you doing, bud? Scrag. Scrag. Um. Do you know anything about a necklace? It has a blue decoration on it. What? You don't remember kicking kicking it or seeing it? Okay. What do you think of Apom? Recently, there have been fewer pranks, but on the other hand, it has started to do more mean-spirited things. Scarang! But you had your eye on someone and they may have taken you had your eye on someone and they may have taken the necklace hmm that's helpful thanks is that kid your partner scarag oh a ball came f flying at scraggy scraggy kicked it and they became friends ever since then scraggy then scraggy's been coaching him cool scraggy's over here chasing this kid how to soccer cools i want to talk to the p doves Eat, sleeps, and flies away. That's kind of what I do. Eat, sleep, and fly away. Ack! The P doves. Ack! The P doves. <laughs> Seems like they flew. They flew away because you startled them. Uh, sorry about that. That's right, Tim. You let our suspects get away. Pikachu, you're just as guilty as I am of that. Uh, sorry. We sorry we made them fly away. The P dove, right? What cute Pokemon? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, aren't they? I'm glad to see that you appreciate them. There are P-Dove everywhere. Is this your first time seeing one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, they weren't any... There weren't any in the town I lived in. Oh, right. You came from far away. Most of the Pokemon in Rhyme City must seem strange to you. Hopefully, we can gather the P-Dove again, somehow. 
How about you ask this guy? How do you get the P-Dubs? Hmm. Uh, about the P-Dub. What should we do to get the P-Dub together again? Well, if I scatter food for them, I think they'll come back. The P-Dub are used to me. Food? You can get it at the cafe in the park. Cafe, hmm? Thank you. Let's go get food for the P-Dubs. I actually wanted to ask you about everything, too. It seems, uh, no sorry, nothing. Okay. Uh, do you recognize this feather? Hmm, sorry, uh, yeah, okay. Nothing. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Yep. Uh, do you see the necklace? Has a blue duration. No, haven't seen it. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there must be a reason why they disappeared in front of the station. What? I missed that. This is the map of the park. Oh, we still drop. We're dropping frames like faster than anything. That's crazy. This is the map of the park. Right now, we're in, in the fountain area. To the right is the cafe area. To the left is the in nature area. Okay, knowing the area is the first step of the investigation. I hear you. Great. If you get lost, consult the map. Oh, that's right. You're busy looking for your lost pen. Are we, are we finding that for you? I don't. Oh, lost the P doves. It's empty. Oh, this is the bitch cleaning up. <laughs> Abon was just in a quarrel by the tree over there. Had to calm down? Uh, yeah. Oh, good. I was. Oh, good. I was scared. So I didn't want to get too close. Now I can do my job. Yeah. It can be dangerous to. Yeah, it can be dangerous to be in the middle of a fight. So was Apom fighting with another Pokemon? Did you see anything? Uh, sorry, I don't know. I kept my distance. Uh, do you want? Do you know anything about this feather? Uh, it seems like I came from a bird Pokemon. That's all I can tell you. Well, I could have told you that. Uh, why is what is the frame rate right now? Holy shit! We just dropped a forty-one. Let's see if that helps. I just changed the encoder, so hopefully that will help uh, keep frames up and not drop everything like straight to the fucking ground. So hopefully that's a thing that will not happen anymore. All right, let's get back into this. That was like our third cut of this episode. That's crazy. Can you tell us about bird Pokemon in the park? There are four kinds. The park is divided into three areas. And each area has a different assortment of bird Pokemon living in it. There are three areas. There are three areas. This is the fountain area. Go right to find the cafe area. And the, na and the nature area is on the left. Bird Pokemon in the park. Uh, what do you know about bird Pokemon? We have Pidove here in the fountain area that often play near the fountain. Uh, let's see. Halo is in the cafe area. Cafe area. It always seemed to be preening, pre preening their feathers. Um, uh, that would be Starly and Murkrow. Sure, Starly always forms groups of three, and the Murkrow is self-indulgent, and it seems to fly about, including going outside the park during the daytime. All right, so I'm feeling like. We have a Murkrow bandit. I feel like Murkrow is our bandit. Oh, Starlies. Hey guys. I love Starlies. You guys are adorable. Three is definitely a crowd. Oh yes, for sure. Starly! Hey, got a second? Do you recognize this feather? Starly! You don't, hmm? Actually, someone attacked Apom in the fountain area, and it was a clue of the culprit. Totally. Ooh. And we don't think you're... And we don't think you're suspicious. But can we have one of your feathers? Great, thanks. Your understanding has helped out... Helped us a lot. So now we have a Starly feather. Mercury lives around here. Starly! We haven't seen it. Do you know where he has gone? It's gone looking for shiny things. Oh, so it likes sparkling things. Collects them and takes them to its nest, huh? Starly! Where's the nest? Starly! You are perhaps familiar with Apom? Starly! Okay, so there is an Apom in this area as well. Thanks for everything. Awesome. Ask us about asking about Apom. Hmm. You you almost got your feathers plucked once? I guess those Apom have been making lots of trouble here too. Well, thanks, guys. Oh, hey, Poochana. 
A rowdy whis whippersnapper. A rowdy whippersnapper. I see Apom on the tree there. What is it saying? Don't get in the way when I am playing, it says. Oh, Apom, I'd like to speak with you. Ah! It pulled back. No way we can talk to it like this. Hmm. If we could just settle down, Puchiana. True. Yes. That is what we must do. We must settle the Puchiana. I don't want to talk to you. <gasps> is this Puchiana's mama? Why? This doesn't sound like a Mighty Anna at all. Actually. Hey, Mighty Anna, we want to talk with you. Would you? Yeah, Puchiana is. What is it? Well, even though it's nap time, one Puchiana hasn't come back. So the other one won't sleep and it's causing Mighty Anna some trouble. But one can have tough lives too, I guess. If we find it, we'll tell it to come home. So have a chat with us, please. Um, ask about Black Feather? Do you recognize his feather? Matia. Hey, you know it's not your fur. Hey, we know it's not your fur. Yeah, do you know anything about this? Uh, okay, so. Oh, it's always playing in the other flower beds and shrubbery over there. Oh, okay. If I notice anything, uh, I'll play. Okay. So we're gonna go to Puchina's playground. What is the Starly like? The cry is loud, so Puchina always follows them around. Seems like a brutal relationship. What about Murkrow? You don't encounter it often, so it seems notable. Okay. Hey, Tim. Yes. Tim. What? First, we've got to do something with the Puchiana. Yeah, we have to settle it down. Um. Find the other one. Yeah, if we find the other one, both of them together, it looks. Yeah, let's go find the Puchiana. Let's fucking go, mate. Uh, it's in the flower playground, maybe. Is that what he said? Let's talk to this guy over here. Hody. Show him the black feather. You don't know think about this feather? Pokemon feather. It's pitch black. Maybe yes. Okay. Ask about Starly. I don't really care what this guy says because we don't really need more information. Oh, Apom and Murkrow. What did he say about them? Tell me about the Murkrow. Uh, yeah, they seem to fly around during the day, but they are often gone. I sometimes see them fighting with Apom. <gasps> Where's that Apom? It looks, uh, look, it's up in the tree over there. It won't come down while Puchin is there. Yeah, I know. We gotta go do that. We gotta go do that. Gotta go find his little bro. So he'll come down and stop being a nuisance. And I'm thinking he might be in the other area, or we have to go to the other area anyway. Uh, I'll talk to you. Oh, he moved him. Oh, what? Come on now, you can't hold back. You can always talk to me, you know, even if I'm not sending my signal. Oh, I can, huh? The owner of this black feather is the one who attacked that a bomb. Now let's identify which Pokemon it was. Murkrow. It was Murkrow. I'm pretty sure it was Murkrow. I just kicked that Pete of. Oh, we gotta talk to this little boy. Do you need something? Ask about everything. Okay. I find I didn't notice anything like that. I've been here for Scraggy for a while. <laughs> Alright. You know anything about necklace? Nope. Look at Puchina, have you seen Puchina, I haven't seen it. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna go this way and see if I can spot it. You think we need to get to Puchina? Well, let's have to find that man's pen. Does this man have a pen? Hmm. How you doing? Ask about the necklace. We're looking for a necklace with a blue decoration on it. Have you seen it? Pillow. Is that right? Thanks for... Thanks. It says it wasn't looking for stuff on the ground. It sure does put on airs. What? Okay. What does it say? It says that it's a pretty feather that we touched. That it. It said that it doesn't want its pretty feathers to be touched by dirty hands. Hmm. Seems pretty severe. 
I guess it won't show us. Okay. So we can't get one of his feathers. For comparison or whatever. That I know. Where is that Poochiena, though? Can I go in here? No. Where's that Poochiena, though? Hello? <gasps> ah! He's adorable! <laughs> ah! That's adorable, Tepeg. We're looking for the necklace. Have you seen it? Keeping? Oh, it, it's not something that you can eat. Hmm, I guess you haven't seen it. What, what are you hiding here for? Oh, you're looking for berries. Did you find any? To be. Hmm. I'll give you some... You'll give us something you found. Cool. Do you recognize this feather? To be. No, don't eat it. No, you can't eat it. No. Well, that's adorable. The Tepig just comes flying out of the bushes. Should I talk to bushes more often? What? Yes. Yes. It seems that Apon was a was in a quarrel near the fountain. Do you know anything about it? Oh, oh, oh! Was that there? F was there a fight? I don't know. I don't know about today, but the Apon have seemed to feel in inferior since Mightyena started living in the park. They're really starting to cut loose in areas without Mightyena. They play so many pranks. That is, yeah, so that's cool. Hmm, maybe Taylor and Java said okay, so no, it's Murkrow. It's definitely Murkrow. 120% Murkrow. Where the heckles? Is that little Mightyena though? Do well, you guys know where the Mightyena is? Nobody's seen the necklace. No nobody is sure what feather this is. I'm sure it's Murkrow. I'm, because Murkrow is known to be a kind of a troublemaker. It, it, we've already so heard that it fights, right? Fights around. Um, and all that kind of stuff. I'm pretty, like, I'm pretty sure it's Murkrow. Wait, wait, gotta go back, 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 gotta go back. Gotta go back. <laughs> gotta go back, gotta go back, gotta go back, gotta go back. Gotta go back. Because we gotta talk to this, ladies. Hmm. Welcome, would you like to order something? <laughs> you want to drink coffee? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take a drink. Slap half. <gasps> the best taste tester. He's adorable. The models in this game. The models in this game. Perfect. Ooh, nice work. This is the first time I've seen a Pokemon drink coffee. Hmm, Tim, delish. Delicious. Things aren't limited to Pokemon or people. Drinking coffee under a blue sky is isn't it awesome? Of course, I know a better cafe than this one. Hmm. 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 Um. I'd like to about the coffee. The coffee was delicious. Pikachu liked it too. Pikachu did. Never mind. This is a nice shop. Ask about the feather. Hmm, well, Murkrow is a dark black. Pito has some too. Okay, so between Murkrow and Pito, but I'm pretty sure it's Murkrow. So, I think there's a way to get Pito some food. Hmm. Yes, uh, we have some portions made from stuff like scraps of bread. You can have some if you'd like. Thank you. I do want the Pito food. I have a feeling that the Pito, getting the Pito to talk to us isn't going to give us answers. But it'll help us get the pen, I think. I do think it'll help us get the pen. I don't know why I feel like it would, but I feel like it would. Either that, or the pen is in the Murkrow thing. Hmm, you get some food? Yeah, here it is. Okay, stand back, by the way. Here you go, George. Hoi, hoi McCoy. Ha, hoi McCoy. Oh, they're back. Oh, so soothing. I only I only feel relaxed when I'm playing with the P Dove. They're so cute, George. Hoy McCoy. This guy seems pretty tired. Hmm. Let's talk. Let's talk to the P Dove. Hey P Dove, did you attack Apom or something? Dove. Hmm. 
You saw a palm. You saw a palm, but didn't remember if you attacked. But don't remember if you attacked it or not. Okay, this guy is a bird brain. Who forgets something immediately? <laughs> okay then, I'll just make. I'll just take a feather that looks like it's about to come out. So that's definitely not the feather that I have. Oh, is this it? Oh no, not the same. This pit of feather has a lot more gray in it than it does black. Hmm. Who is the owner of the black feather? Well, that is what we're trying to figure out here. Let's look for the owner of that black feather. It should be the one that has the necklace. In theory, yes, sure. So we have to find the pe the um, the little doggo. Butchana! <gasps> there he is. We found him. Whoa! <laughs> hmm. Hi, it's nap time. My Nina has been looking for you. Hopefully it will sleep quietly now. Let's go have a look at the pond. Let's fucking go, Pikachu! Let's fucking go, mate! We got things to do. Alright, so now they're napping. So now we should be able to talk to Apom here. <gasps> now that Pujan is sleeping, I guess we've uh, freed it up. Oh, good for you. Ask Apom. Uh, ask about the Apom in front of the station. Your pal took off with a necklace. Now, know anything about that? Apa. Oh, you've oh you've been stuck in the treetop all day. So you don't know about your pal. Um, show the black feather. Hey, do you recognize this feather? Epa! You know it's a murkrow, really? Epa! You guys quarrel all the time, so there's no mistaking it, huh? So it's definitely murkrows. Do you hear anything about the, about the fight? Oh, uh, what kind of fight? Yeah, okay. Oh, so when you were playing with your pal a little while ago, you inadvertently climbed to the top of the tree Murkrow lives in. Epa! Murkrow attacked because it said you were intruding on its territory. And since then, the Apom and Murkrow in the park always fight whenever they see each other. Interesting developments. Which tree is Murkrow's nests in? Epa! The thick tree near the pond, huh? Thanks. Heckles, yeah. Whoop, didn't mean to do that at all. I just swiped up the, <laughs> the whole list. So we gotta look for the missing pin. I'm just trying to get this new this new label to go away. We know a lot of things now. We do know a lot of things now. No, I want the case notes. I just want all these new new to go away. There we go. Alright, so that's that. Uh, we have a lot of new friends. Apom, Taylo, Murkro, who we haven't met yet. Starly, P Dove, Mighty Enna, Hoochiena, Tepig, Slurpuff, Scraggy, Furfrow, and Diggersby. Wait, Diggersby. And we have searched for this. We've got the Starly Feather and the P Dove Feather. We have a black feather, empty can, newspapers, leaves, and a red berry. Interesting. Interesting developments. So now it's the thick tree, which I don't know where the thick tree is. Thick tree near the pond. Ah, this one. Murkrow's nest could be up in this tree. Yeah, and it looks like no one's home. So if we're going to investigate, 
I'll take a look. Let me know if it comes back. Right, gotcha. Oh no. What? How did how did that miss? That was definitely inside the circle. I made it. No sweat. Now, is there any kind of evidence to be found in here? Oh, here we go. Hey Tim, found something. Uh oh, is that Pikachu? It's Murkrow. Watch out! Huh? <laughs> Uh oh. I that was a misclick. Thanks for breaking my fall. You're a good cushion. <laughs> Look, it's the evidence we need. <laughs> You're a good cushion. <laughs> Yeah, it was worth it. Let's get right to comparing it with the feather. <laughs> it looks like we were correct. The black feather that we found at the scene definitely came from a Murkrow. Mm -hmm. Quick, let's do an interrogation. It was Murkrow. For shizzle. I entered your nest without asking. Anyway, you fought with Apom, right? Macrow! 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 You didn't, huh? Tim, why don't you show it what we found? This feather is yours, right? It was Lion next to the Apom that fainted. Alright, so it was you. I'm assuming you had your eye on the necklace. So, what did you do with it, huh? You lost it during the fight. That's a very lame excuse. And now you're saying it was someone else. But it seemed like you and Apom were the only ones that were there. You're saying Burmy were in that tree. Uh, well, I guess we'll check that out. Uh-huh, right, right. Hmm. So Burmy. There's a Burmy, maybe. Interesting. If you were if you are to believe what Murkrow said, there are Burmy in the tree near the spot where Apron was lying down. We finally get to Murkrow and now we're right back where we started. That's not true. We've learned some new facts. We're steadily approaching the necklace. You think so? I don't know. I don't know. <gasps> oh! That's the end! It's a cliffhanger. We didn't actually get to finish the mission. Honestly, this game looks insane, though. Shiny? Mewtwo! <laughs> Mewtwo! What the what? You can carry over your save data to the full version of the title from the title screen. Where could the necklace have gone? You can find out in the full version. I can transfer my save data from this to the full game. That's kind of crazy, man. That, that's super funny. Super fun. Amazing. Okay. Well, I guess that's it, guys. Two, two episodes. This was a super fun, amazing, interesting game. And I actually think I'm going to have to go and buy it and just play the whole thing just so I know where the necklace went. This is a very, very important thing for me to know. Um, <laughs> it's 
If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below for me. Subscribe if you're new around here and share this video with a friend if you guys really, really did enjoy. Uh, there's not as much commentary as I normally would do in my in my videos because, you know, the game kind of took care of a lot of it. It was very, very story driven. So, um, with that, guys, I'm going to get about. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.